I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crowd. Back up. Back up. Yes. Good boy. And I'm closing in the night pit And there ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Baby, right, that's the thing Every night I've got a team I've been tied to the same Today, I'm going to be feeding my animals So, let's get into that And I'm going to tell you more about it as we go So, we have baby tort This is my baby sulcata tortoise And it is called tort because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl and it could probably take a few years to find out so this is tort tort today um so tort gets um usually fresh fruits and vegetables but today i am just doing one of the zoomed vegetable and fruit mixes um just to swap it up a little bit so it's dried pre-dried food um, so we've already added the water and got it all soft soaked up and we're gonna get a little tort here bring a little tort over so that little tort can eat do you want to pee? tort likes peas see? tort likes peas so while tort starts to munch on that we are going to grab our rep cow with calcium with vitamin D. We are going to take this. There's just a few holes and we are just going to sprinkle this lightly on the food. Okay. So I don't do this every day. Too much calcium can be a bad thing for tortoises and it can cause them to pyramid. And so, I don't do it daily. I do it about every other day. Get some of that calcium on there here. So yummy. Want a green bean? Can, can I help you? Do you got it? I'm not sure if you do. It's on your eye. Okay, there you go. Well, here, let me help you. I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? There you go. That better. What else do we got in here? We got peas, we got green beans, we've got a mix of all sorts of yummy stuff in here. So I've already given tort fresh water. What do you want to do? Oops. What I do want to do is press the food dish down a little more to make it easier to get in, get this food off of his nose, and voila. So Tort is going to sit here and munch on all of its food, and then it'll probably go over there and bask for a little bit. And yeah, so there is Tort. Get it, Tort. Get it. Get it, Tort. Yeah. Green bean. I want it. Okay. So the next one we have to feed is this little guy right here. This is my little corn snake. It's Cronus. And uh, we've got a pinky mouse over here falling out. And we're going to feed him and then he's going to 
go back over here in his enclosure. We've already got some new fresh water added. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that and then put him back in there. Of course, with reptiles always add Reptisafe to your water. If you did not know. Alright, I'm going to try to do this to where you guys can see it. So, we've got feeding tongs. We've got our little pinky mouse over here. Which should be good and thawed out by now. To double tag, yes. Pinky Mouse is good and thawed out. We are going to open this. I do feed him separate. I've always done this with my snakes, unless they've been a super stressed snake. Um, he's pretty chill, and I do prefer to feed separate, just so that I don't have to worry about the aspen getting on them. So I'm going to lure him over here so you guys can see this when he does go after the pinky. He smells it. He might be going in shed soon. I don't see his eye caps starting to get milky yet. Oh, he missed it. Okay. I'm going to try to lure him back over here with the pinky. Come on. Come on. Get back in there. Back in your bowl. There we go. We got a good strike right there. And immediately he's going to start eating. Okay, so now that he's finished eating, we're going to grab this, we're going to move it over here. We're just going to let him slither on up. Try to keep it as stressless as possible. So, now I'm going to put his lid on lock it up and we'll move on to the next animals cats are just getting their kibble follow iris do you want your food do you want it no maybe thinking about it okay it's there we are trying something new with the dogs so this is nom nom food we're going to be doing a full video on this. These are, we are still on the transitional food packets. So these are the smaller packets to transition them onto this food from their kibble. So once they get over to it, in about a week or two, we're going to be doing a video on how we like this food. But I'm hoping that the dogs really like it because we have a bunch in here. Um, we have pork potluck. We have chicken chow. We have turkey fair. And then these are all the frozen ones. So this is what everything we keep frozen. Along with all of baby torts, frozen foods. I take these out and put them in the fridge to thaw out. But this has got like all of his fruits and veggies that I pre-made and froze and then we've got baby mice frozen for the snake so yeah what are you doing Apollo with the food for the dogs um so they're doing the beef mash right now and these are the transitional foods but then they go into the bigger sizes and so they each get like this one is 
275 grams. I believe that one's Max's. And then, like, this one is, that's 275 grams. That's Max, too. Um, so some of these I just poured out of the freezer and put in here to thaw. We got some treats that we haven't even messed with yet. Um, but this one's like 225 grams. That's Maya. And so all of this is just thawing out. Like this one's almost thawed. And so, um, this is their foods. And they're eating better than us, you guys. So... I put them in some warm water to let them thaw out the rest of the way. These were already, these have been in the uh, fridge for a few days. I'm going to dump this excess water out. But um, they were still a little cold, so put them in some warm water to let them thaw out the rest of the way. Now we're going to add them to the bowls. Before I add the dry food, because this is still at, um, yeah, so... This is what the food looks like, like it's on point. And so since this is still transitional food, this is what the transitional food looks like. And so we add the smaller packets to their food and then add the kibble to it and just for them to transition for about a week both. And then um, they'll go on to just eating their portion, their daily portions of Nom Nom without any dry kibble. Okay, so... We're over here with this and their dog food. Maya's over here behind me waiting. Max is over there waiting. Alright. So, I'm going to put about half a scoop of dry with Maya's. And then full scoop of dry with Max. And this will be the last time they eat today. So now I'm going to mix it up. So they've already had some of their nom nom food today. But um, this is the last feeding they're getting today. So they are getting their kibble this time. Earlier today, they just got the Nom Nom packets without the kibble. Now they're getting the Nom Nom packets with the kibble. Sit. Wait. <laughs> Max is in his cone. Wait. Wait. Eh. Wait. Maya. Yes, right here. Max, go to yours. Go to yours. And they love it. <laughs> Poor Max. Of course, the cats want in on it. Nom Nom does do food for the cats as well. So we are considering adding this to the cat's diet too. I'm just not sure. I want to try it out on the dogs first and then we'll move on to see how the dogs do on it and go from there. So Max uses the fridge to hold his bowl in place so he can eat with the cone on. And there we have it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me feeding all my animals. How long has it been since I've done one of these? Like, three years? And I think the last feeding all of my animals video I did, I had about 20 animals. And so, it was way more interesting than this one. But yeah, that is what we've got going on. Um, the dogs are on a new diet. Max leave it. Max is going for Maya's. Max! I said leave it! Dude! Thank you. He just came back over here and laid down. I gotta watch them because they will like go to eat each other's food now. Like, 
Max scarfs his food down. Um, I'm actually about to get his slow feeder back out for this because he slowed down on the kibble, but now with the nom nom added into it, he's just like swallowing it. So I'm about to pull his slow feeder back out. But the dogs are on a new diet and they are loving it. Maya just finished hers. Max is over here laying down. Max is kind of a brat, you guys. Especially when it comes to food. He's a fat ass. And I will catch him all the time with his head in the dog food bag or the cat food bag. And, like, if I don't work him that day, I have to make sure. Maya, off. I have to make sure to um, put the dog food and cat food bags up out of reach. Because he's spiteful in the days that he gets left at home. He will just sit there and bloat himself on food. Something, I don't know. It's he, he didn't start doing that until probably last year or so. Yeah, within the last year. And I don't know if it's just something he's doing because he's old or what. But they are now on new diets. The tortoise is doing really great. The snake is eating really great. I think that's the third snake feeding I've been able to get. So he has been eating weekly since I've gotten him. He ate the day after I got him. He ate last, which um, the day after I got him was a Sunday. And then the week after, last Friday, I fed him. And then this Friday, because today's Friday. So snake's eating great. The cats, well, they're fat, obviously. And they eat great anyway. Um, just gave them some dry food for the night. Um, I do swap it up and give them cans of wet food and stuff like that as well. But Iris, um, I think it's Iris. I don't know. One of them has been having diarrhea lately. So I've got to keep an eye on that. And so I'm trying to just put them back on just the kipple and see if that hardens up their stool for a few days. Just until I can figure out who's having the diarrhea or what exactly is going on. And then we're going to change that up again and probably start adding the wet food back into their diet and Max and Maya are on their new foods, which they seem to love. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and stay tuned for the Nom Nom food review update. This stuff does seem really good, like they're straight up eating better than we are, and it's super easy to prepare. You keep it in your freezer, and then you put it in your fridge. You can like keep about a week's worth of food in the fridge. I'm um, keeping it thawed out when you start running low, just pull it from the freezer and put it in the fridge. And um, you can also just thaw it with water. And so with the, in the fridge, I just put it in some warm water just to warm it up a little bit and then feed it straight to them. And they love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.